Hello everybody, welcome to 2720 Memphis. Um, this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, just wanted you to take a peek at what this really cute little home has to offer. Uh, we currently have it at uh, $170,000. Um, it is a little over 3,000 square feet as per some appraiser measurements. Let's walk in. It is centrally located in El Paso, very near Alabama. You've got some beautiful hardwood floors, open living space. They have, since the house was built, opened up this space. Great little dining area here. And it does have a basement and you can see the stairs that go down. Cute kitchen. Breakfast area here as well. And at nighttime, you can actually see a really beautiful view of the city there. This is actually where the stairs go down, but we're gonna preview the rest of the home first. Let's see. So the furnace was replaced winter of 2018. You have a cute little room here. Again, looks like it's got the original wood floors little telephone booth. We've got beautiful um, quaint tile. A lot of this tile work is original. They don't make it like this anymore. You've got your master here. There's your closet. Really nice and spacious. It's a beautiful Saturday. So the birds are chirping away. They have redone this bathroom. Very nice tile work. Recess lighting up here as well. Oh, no, not recess. I, let me correct that. Let's take a look at the downstairs now. So um, you uh, are very close to the Five Points District, which has seen a lot of renovation. Um, you've seen a lot of homes get um, remodeled, updated. Uh, a lot of times they will leave the original um some of the original features to the house just to show it off its charm um so as you've seen here as well now the homeowner hasn't finished doing the flooring but you know this space is absolutely livable here you have a den and a huge covered patio which we'll come back to in a minute you've got a bedroom here and it does have access and egress to the back and then you have a closet so this could be for the noisy teenager or for any guests that you have you know I was thinking that this could possibly even have great uh, potential for an Airbnb here's your utility room um, you have drainage in here so you can always add here's another bathroom so you know the people that rent the Airbnb can use this um, you can certainly add in the kitchen in here. It has the ability to do that. And you can easily rent this place out and make uh, some money towards your monthly mortgage payment. Here's an extra room. It's got a closet in here. And this space is heated and cooled. Oops. Let me go back to this space here. And then you have this other room that is, let's see if this is heated and cooled. Okay, so this room is not heated and cooled. This room could be a great storage area, maybe even an office, if you wanted to add an HVAC unit, a combination unit. And then uh, we have a yet another room back here that's great for storage. So as you can tell, it's got the rock walls, it's very deep. Now the square footage that I believe that we are coming up with, um, we got from an appraisal measurement, so we're more than happy to share that. I am not sure if all of that space is heated and cooled. Um, as you can see, I've shown you the spaces that do have the duct work. And then you have a nice big covered patio and a very large yard. And since these houses are from, you know, the 1950s and younger, you're gonna have the, the backyard access, so. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call.